health issues plaguing our community, we are focusing a week of stories on the real struggles of young people and their families. One mother had to take extreme measures to make sure her daughter was not a danger to herself, and it took a real toll on this family. This mother does not want to be identified to protect her daughter's privacy. Here is her story. One Knoxville teenager has struggled with anxiety since the age of four. And as she entered her freshman year of high school, the situation worsened. It fell off the rails. It, a drastic downturn in her, her willingness to want to do anything, willingness to take care of herself, to um, enjoy time with a family, to go anywhere, to engage in any activities. It really, COVID, it pushed her under water. She started having thoughts of suicide. Every morning I'm waking up thinking, oh gosh, I hope she's alive. And, you know, just opening her bedroom door and just praying that I was going to see her breathing is all I wanted. During one family therapy appointment, she became erratic and the family decided she needed special treatment. The family enlisted the help of a professional who could find her the right facility, which turned out to be a wilderness camp in Colorado, a unique approach to therapy. There's no electricity, there's no bathrooms, there's no showers, there's no laundry service, but they're there to figure out how to survive them for themselves, but they have guides, they have therapists in the field, they have um, other peers that are in the program that they team up with. This program takes all those distractions out and you are pretty much forced to sit and feel the feelings and work through the things, but you're supported by other peers that are dealing with the same issues. Through weekly calls, they finally started seeing improvement in their daughter's mental state. This is an emotional burnout because there's no close to the cycle of emotions. Like, and the, and the cycle of emotions is wild. I mean, there were days I would just be so grateful that she was at a place where she was safe and I was so sad that she wasn't here. These treatment centers come with a hefty price tag. And while this family has the means to pay for them, many others do not. And I'm extremely grateful that we have those resources. But I'm an anomaly, my family situation is. Everyone needs to be keenly aware and say, hey, this is a huge problem in our community, and we need to get out and talk about it. Mm, it's been such a struggle for this family. We do want to mention her daughter went into a residential treatment program and is now in a boarding school. We know this is extremely hard for parents and children alike. If your child is struggling or you are, we are sharing the suicide warning signs coming up in our next half hour.